Hey guys. So in today's video, I'm going to change up the front sensor here. If you remember before, I put the 35% tint on, the light tint. But I want to try a little darker because it didn't really cover the chrome too much. It was especially after putting it on. So I got a scrap piece of, this is 20%. So it's definitely a lot darker. It's Oracle vinyl. It's really good stuff. So I want to see if the 20%, A, if it looks good, but more importantly, if the sensor still works. Because you know this is a radar behind the emblem here. So just like before, all you need is about a 12 inch wide piece, maybe about like seven inches tall to do that. Very simple, clean it, stick it on and exacto knife the edge of it. And I put a little bit of heat and tuck it. So it's very basic, but I've seen a couple of people do it and it looks really good. I mean, it really blacks it out, but you can still see the A in some different angles. It's basically, you can see how dark it is. You can faintly see the A still. But like I said, it gives you other options, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and put this on. Okay, that's the basic install. Just the rough idea here. So I clean after cleaning, of course, you just stick it on and then just squeegee all the air out. I like to start from the center and then work all the sides. Makes it a lot easier to get all the air out. Real basic, like I said, just get it around the edges as good as you can. Like I said, it's not hard to take your time on it. And you can kind of see the outline here. And then when you get the center stuck pretty good, then just take an X-Acto knife. Kind of run the blade on the edge of the, um, the little plastic trim there. And then just cut it. So that's what it looks like all done. Really easy. Like I said, that's all I did. I just put it on, put the X-Acto knife on the edge. Just, you don't have to go crazy here. <clears throat> you don't really want to scratch into this, but just push it on the edge, rough cut it, and then you can just take it and trim little edges. And then it has a nice lip on the side. So then I just take a little bit of heat, put a little heat on it, and then stick it to the edge. Makes it really easy. As you can see, it darkens it up a lot, but you can still see the A, which I like. Since, you know, I, with the, the dark accents and all that, I didn't really like the bright chrome A. I do like it. In here, it's hard to see. It looks really blacked out, but out in the light, you can definitely see it. So if you guys are wondering, does it work? Well, I drove around with this and it worked fine had the same sensitivity as the 35% or even no tint. Um, so yes, you can tint the front sensor, which like I told you before, I highly recommend doing, even if you use a 100% clear piece of 3M vinyl, I would do it because these things get chipped up a lot. And the last thing you want is that to break and then you spend hundreds of dollars for a new sensor. So I would definitely put something on it one way or another. But like if you're going for the same kind of theme, like kind of darken things up a little bit, I would highly suggest it. Like I said, I personally like the 20% now just because it does look a lot darker. But like I said, when it's sunny out through the sides and all that, you can still see the A. It's just not this bright chrome anymore. It's a lot more muted. I feel like it gives the front end a, just a more aggressive look. Um, especially that's the way I'm doing it. Like if you guys like chrome, then just put a piece of 3M on it to protect it, especially if you drive freeways a lot. Like I'm saying, these things with a big rock will crack the, the piece of plastic, then you have to replace it. So it's kind of a pain. So hopefully that will save you guys some issues down the road. Like I said, if you're a commuter, you drive a lot, 
I would highly recommend putting something on it. Because it, like I said, I don't even drive a lot and I already had chips on mine before I put anything on it. So it'll definitely protect it, you know, protect your investment. Don't cause unnecessary expenses on it for sure. So hope that gives you guys, guys an idea how easy it is to do. Like I said, just play around with it, see what you guys like to personalize it. So hope everyone's doing good. Again, I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys on the next one.